Uh, hi guys, welcome back to Little Circuit. Today we're going to build Project 20 in Pro and Snap Circuit Snappy No, SC Snappy No, that's the um, technical name. Um, we'll be fast forwarding the Arduino installing part. That should be the video after or before this because the uploading is different. Um, anyways, so we'll do Click Counter, Project 20's name, Click, click Counter. It's Project 20 SC Snappy No. We'll be fast forwarding the Arduino um, to tell you again. We'll be fast forwarding installing Arduino, so um, you don't have to wait a long time. You can just you can just follow along quickly if you do not install Arduino yet. Um, but okay, let's start now. The first thing you're gonna do is uh, first place your Snappy No where I actually where I placed it over there. It's it's on number two, and you're gonna place it up to A. So the 5V out is going to be on A, and it's also going to be on up to the 5V outlet, so it's going to look like that when you place it. So, um, next you're going to make a 90 degree angle with resistor f number 4 on the snap 2. It's going to look like that. And place it, and place S2 there there and put lace it so it makes another 90 degree angle a 5 there and connect a 3 there and connect a D1 connect a D1 there so yeah um then you then you're going to get um, D1, you're gonna place it on, uh, you're gonna place it on the digital output, the digital input output, number 10. That's the D10, but we're not using a D10 LED. Even though, even though Snappy Note actually does come with a D10 LED, it means a different thing. That's a diode number 10. This is the digital input out, slash output number 10. Then we're gonna place a uh, white wire here. And at the verge of, um, not the verge, just um, the top of uh, S2, you're gonna place uh, um, the end of the uh, snap, the yellow snap wider. Um, if you do not have a yellow snap wider, you can, other snap wider also work. And definitely do not use the snap wider because it won't even work, first of all. Next, which you, next, it's the real stuff part as you're gonna want to place or connect uh, this thing here I'm going to turn on the snappy you now so um, now I'll maximize my screen so you can see how it's supposed to look yeah, that's how it's supposed to look there. Yeah, um, you see my mouse moving. So, there, it's the reverse of the way my cursor is moving, as you can see. But anyways, um, I'll just keep this in the corner if you want a quick glance at it. There. Good. So. Good. So. Yeah, you just moved it to adjust it. But you're going to open Microsoft Edge. And this part, I'm going to fast forward it. Okay. I'm going to turn on vertical tabs so it can work better. Okay. Three, two, one.
Okay, guys, um, it's loading now. Um, okay. So, um, after that, go to click file, open. Then I'm going to go to um, desktop. No, oh, not desktop. Go to this PC downloads and then you're going to go to um, snappy you know, the the file you downloaded from malenko.com going to double click that and wait um, never mind go back snappy you no know, programs you're going to click um you're going to click click counter is the and then I'm going to select that sketch or project. People call it pro more Adreno users call it project. So connect your Adreno. Uh, I'll fix it very rightly because my camera can disconnect. And let me update it. Um, I'll also fast forward this part. Okay, three, two, one. See, I didn't have to fast forward because this for that one because it was pretty big. It was pretty um, not pretty big. It was pretty fast. It was pretty big. Um, next you're gonna click the check mark there. Um, let me keep this up here. Make sure you verify it. Make sure everything you connected was correct. And after that, click upload. Now, here's the stuff that's gonna happen. Yeah, um, I gotta try with COM4. COM4 always works. COM3 or COM4 works. Or you can call them COM. Next click, next go to Serial Monitor. Wait, um, with the Serial Monitor, you send messages. Which don't do anything. But we're not gonna send any messages. You're going to change don't change that one. You can you can click that one, doesn't really matter if you have that one, just changes. Um, let me show you what show timestamp does and without show ten timestamp does. Next, click the button. It tells you it tells you how much the timestamp tells you what time it is, but it only does it in the 24 hour clock. See, that's what times timestamp does without timestamp. Without timestamp, it's gonna go normal. Um, this actually is pretty cool. I've never seen this before. Now I'm gonna see if it does. It doesn't let you. Yeah. Change the bar now. It, you can actually um do um lots of cool stuff if you change the B U B A U D. It's um pretty. Pretty cool, actually. Um, you get to type. You get to type stuff without doing lots of work. Now, the button is pressed. See? Um, do 
248 wide. Adds more characters. It's 560 wide. Gets kind of. It's kind of um. It gets kind of. Uh, what do you say? Boring. What if you increase the bod? It just adds lots of characters, which it doesn't even know. And this doesn't do anything. It, yeah, that doesn't do anything. Uh, hmm. Yeah. It doesn't really change anything if you go to 2525 times 100 baud. Doesn't do anything. Keep it with the normal 960 baud. It continues. Change the bo changing the baud. If you change the baud to a different baud, then put it. Uh, is it is it supposed to see? Do you say bod, bowed, beard, bowed? I just call it B A U D. B A U D. 960 B A U D. Changing the B A U D B A U D and then changing it back to 960. Um, what do you say? Yeah, um, changing it back refreshes it. Well, clear output continues from last time. Can send stuff. Get to send stuff. Send it to Adreno. It doesn't do anything. Wait, but you want to see something cool? You, it, it's um, it's pretty cool actually. Um, this one, no one has ever known of it before. It just goes on forever. Just see, wow. Ugh. I get to make it go. Yeah, I do not know what's happening here. I'm gonna make it the button that's being pressed at the time. Finally, a thousand. The button has been pressed a thousand times. Lovely. Amazing. I made it. One. Wait, I'm gonna. One byte. What? One kilobyte. The button has been produced enough electricity to make one bite. One bite. One bite. See? One bite. It literally says one bite. One bite. 1024 is equal to one bite. So yeah, that's actually pretty cool. You can just press a button. You just press a button and it literally changes literally changes how it literally changes um how many times you press the button.
Yeah, that's actually kind of pretty cool. It counts it. And if I can show you the code, serial dot begin. Serial print button has been pressed. Serial print in times. And delay. It wants to comment it. Comment. So So oh yeah, I gotta upload the device sketch. Okay, good. Now let me go back to see what I'm doing. It doesn't really work. Go back. Verify. Upload. Come. Now. Yeah, so, um, yeah, that's how to build click counter, and it's, rev in its revision, it's, um, variation, and I'll see you next time, bye, and remember, this channel is a real circuit, and I have lots of other projects like this, and you should watch them, they, um, they can improve your life a lot, but, yeah, that's how to, um, that's how to, um, that's how to build, uh, Prot 20 click counter and what I meant by the improver life a lot is that I meant they're like pretty good um they'll help you do stuff better like some of them just uh, are for fun entertainment other stuff um actually are pretty cool like like um there's like one um one actually one actually you're allowed you um you change the D2 LED I'll show you on screen to yellow LED without actually um, changing the LED, just keeping it the same. And the way to actually do it is um, use two batteries instead of one, which increases it and produces it so it's yellow. But yeah, that's how to build click counter in snap circuits, and I'll see you next time. Bye!